Good morning, this is Jan with the Swirly Do's design team and today I'm just going to share a few stamping tips that I've learned along the way. Some of you had requested this in the forums and I think the big concern was just getting clear images and kind of what to do with your stamps. So the first thing you want to do when you do get a new set, and this is one that came in a Swirly Do's embellishment add-on, is you want to prepare the stamp to receive the ink. When they come from the manufacturer, they do have some residue on them, so you can use a large pencil eraser and just rub that across the surface, and that'll help get rid of it. Uh, actually, what I do is just rub it on the back of my hand, and that'll work just as well. Might remove a few hairs, too, but... Okay. I think we've got it all off of there. Another thing that can happen sometimes with these clear stamps is you'll notice the ink bubbling up on there. If that happens, what you can do is just take a nail file and rub it across the surface of the stamp. That'll rough it up a little bit so this ink has something to cling to. Okay, so now we've got it on our stamp pad here. And if you'll notice, I do have this foam mat here. You always want to stamp on a soft surface. Never stamp directly on a hard surface like your scrap table or your scrap desk. And this is just a foam mat that I bought in the kids' crafting section at Joann's or Michael's or Hobby Lobby. Don't even remember which one. If you don't want to go out and spend the money on that, you can actually just use a mouse pad. So I keep the mouse pad over at my scrap desk, and I keep this over in my scrapping area. All right, so now we're ready. We need to go ahead and ink up our stamp. And this is another thing that you need to be careful of. If you've got a juicy ink pad like this, you don't actually want to push your stamp down in to the ink pad. You actually want to take your ink pad and just kiss your stamp. Okay? Just like that. And then before you actually go and ink your image or stamp your image, you want to just inspect it, make sure everything is inked up well. And I see that it is. So I'm going to go ahead and stamp it here on my soft surface. And just make sure you push well. With these bigger stamps, you need to make sure you do get some pressure in the middle. And pull that up. And there you go. Okay. And this is the mistake some people make especially with these intricate stamps, is they'll go ahead and stamp it down, just push it down in that ink pad, and push that image down on here. And if you'll notice the difference there, we've lost some of our detail. And that's because the stamp was overloaded with ink. So always make sure that you kiss the ink pad onto your stamp. Don't just shove it down into your ink pad, okay? All right, so another thing is just kind of what to do with stamps. Well, how do you use them? So I'm going to show you another thing that I do, and this is actually archival ink here, so this is okay to actually push the stamps straight into the ink pad. And if you'll notice, I've got the wall here from Prima. This is a French script from Prima as well, and this is the Inkville Bone Butterfly. I like to use these a lot on the backgrounds. And I don't even have these on clear blocks. So I just use my fingers and just kind of push down into the ink. And I'm not worried about even getting the full stamp inked up and just ink along. And maybe go off the page here. Here's one right in there. See how you're not even using the full stamp. I think it looked kind of silly if you just had a full square of this right in the middle of your page. Okay, now I'm going to use the script. Same thing. I'm not inking up the whole thing. one off the page, even on top of the other one, that's perfectly fine. Okay, and now the butterfly. And again, I'm not even inking up the whole butterfly. I don't want the full image. I just want parts of it on here. And see how that's just not the full image. Don't care. And you can even do what's called second and third generation. So I've stamped here once. I can go down here. It's going to be a little bit lighter. I could even do it a third time over here. It'd be even lighter still. So that way we've got our background. We've added a little more interest to it. Okay. Another thing that you can do with your stamps is actually embellish the image that you have. So here's one that I like to use a lot. This is a swirly from an old, old stamp set. And again, I'm pushing it straight down into the sink pad. That's perfectly fine. This is not a juicy one. Okay, I've got my image. And we're just going to go along in here. Make sure you push in the middle. 
Okay, there we go. And I'll take some Say It in Pearls or Say It in Crystals from Prima and maybe just add a swirly on top of that, just like that. And I'm okay with this sharp edge being here because I'm actually going to use a paper strip down here in the middle so it's going to look like the swirl is coming out of the side of that paper. Alright, well there you go. Thank you for watching.